Good morning, guys. Today, we're working on 2006 Kia Sorento. So, I got a call from this morning from the vehicle owner. He told me he got stuck on the parking lot. The vehicle cranked over, but it won't start anymore. So, he told me he would call the tow truck and I will tow the vehicle to my shop. So, after that, he drove the vehicle here. He brought the vehicle here with the truck driver. Drive, he, he drove the truck driver here too. And, uh, and I so surprised. I said, what wrong? You told me it did not start, but why? You can able to drive it here, you see. I don't know. I just when the tr truck driver came and he first tried to start the vehicle and it start right up. And uh, I, that's why I brought this here. So anyway, like uh, you can see right now, the key on, and let's start the engine. Yeah, it start right up on me. So. As you can see right now, we have the check engine light on right there, as you can see. Yep, we got the check engine light. Came on, so. Okay, first thing to do, to see any uh, related to no crank uh, situation. Uh, I mean, no start situation. So, first thing, I need to read the protocol and see what we have here. Okay, we got uh, 0343 cam tap position sensor A in test circuit high voltage. And we have the pendant here. O343 cam tap position uh, high voltage, but they're all the same. Okay. Okay, in the case, let me turn off the. engine so like it's back on what I would like to do to see right now we have uh, because you know even the not only the truck driver started this vehicle and uh, in my shop and I it started to dry up so let me because it starts like what I want to do I will clear the coat Yes. Okay. Go ahead and read the code again. Okay, right now we have no for code at all. So we can go uh oh go back. Okay, let's see. Let's start the engine again. Okay, as you can see, no check in the light come on right now. That means it's not electrical problem. But I'm, I think the sensor itself on some of it, the echo, you know, if the cam up the distance sensor, if that, it will be clung, crank, rub, start, something like that. But in the case, move. And no check engine light came right back, come right back after I cleared That means we have everything seems to be normal right now. Okay, let's, right now, as you can see, no check engine light came on, but I want to see any pendant code here. There's still no trouble code. Okay, let's go back. And uh, we'll be out there under the hose and we we'll check for uh, 
something on the cam set position sensor may we have a uh, intermittent problem by we can shake uh, the connectors try to uh, to see if uh, we intermittent loose connection something like that okay go ahead and uh, diagnose it together okay guys as you can see uh, for code uh, PO3 43 camshaft position sensor A circuit high input. As you can see, pay attention on the description here. The circuit high input. High input that means the computer accepts the signal from the signal wire sensor. Signal wire is high voltage. It's not on the 5 ohm graphite wire or ground engine but when it says circuit high input that means the signal is high voltage this one is uh, the signal square way uh, 0, 5 ohm, 0, 5 ohm uh, you can see how the waveform look like uh, later but as you see high input that means the computer accept the high voltage learning or intermittent some somehow the computer see high voltage on the signal wire that means I don't worry about the 5 ohm reference mode on applied to the sensor we have here why is high input maybe uh, intermittent disconnection on the ground wire or we have a computer problem or the signal wires in the middle short to 5 ohm reference something some case like that as you can see that this is the first the crankshaft position sensor and the, right here the campsite position sensor and no matter what here, blah 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 blah, and you as you can see, yep, the camshaft position sensor waveform is a square way like this, zero five ohm, zero five ohm, and now I have everything set up here. I will you go back here, see? Okay, here you see. Let me zoom a in a little more. You guys can easily see. Okay, we have here the camshaft position sensor at the front of the engine. As you can see, right here we have the green wire. That's for the power, 12 volt power. And from the field right here, right here you I can see it missing. Uh, something like 15 amp fuel so this fuel is will be power after the relay main relay uh, on okay okay man okay, got go ahead and back to the sensor again and you can see the blue wire it will follow the blue wire it goes there and go to the computer All right I believe that the signal wire because we have one wire that power another wire here black you can see it will be ground right here and you see that mean the blue wire that means the signal wire Okay guys, I'm here with the electrical tool set up. Uh, the, every time you guys see I work on electrical system, I will have this guy first. Okay, I don't talk about that guy anymore. And uh, we have the test light here. Okay, as you can see, on the connector here, this is for the uh, camshaft position sensor. And we have here the black wire on the top 
you can see this is a black wire okay I will back product your wire in measure 4 yep right now I have to T pin and tap I the reason why I'm many time I say I love this too it's more convenient for you right now you can see on this pin is saying something you can use the meat uh, multimeter but it's uh, you can go many, many steps than using this okay, as you can see right now it's telling you ground right but the ground is good or not I have the test light here I test to I want to check the ground that means the test light will be connected to a positive and before you use the test light to measure see something you have to check for connection right there by touching here okay we have good connection right there okay and now I touch the test light on the T-pin yep and you can see the test light light up that means we have the ground good here but intermittent if it back connection in here or somewhere the ground wire you know in the mid and broken maybe uh, inside the harness all the way along to uh, where it's crowded and we also we have the high voltage on the signal wire okay we go back to the green wire we check for the power right now like I say the description say high input and high voltage I don't worry much about the 5 volt reference uh, I mean the 12, 12 volt supply here because when the sensors get the signal at high voltage that means we have power missing ground or sensors stuck on high voltage Okay, right here, it will tell you the ground. Why? Because the key up right now. Okay, leave the two right there, tell him with the tone, the ground right now, and go back inside the car. Turn on the key. And you can hear the sound in the video from there. Yep, the sound, the tone change to power okay guys we have the power here I don't need to check the power either I can check for you to see not in this case but in another case you can check for the power you know in some case we have this Two telling you power or mutant meter telling you power, 12 volt something, battery voltage, but don't believe it because we avoid to sometimes the component low and we got the voltage drop right now. The satellite put to the negative to check for the power and check your connection. Yep, I have power now. That means we have good connection right there. Okay, touching there. Yep. We don't have the voltage drop on this part wire. This test is not for the case, but I should do that for you. And keep in mind every time you check for the electrical, you should not only check for the voltage but you have to check for the voltage drop okay guys right now I have uh, the Pico set up here for the sensor this is the hard fast sensor and as you can see on the wiring diagram the blue wire is the signal wire so right now the scope is stopped and everything already set up for checking the signal wire here 
you get 13 you back pro the, the blue wire until you feel in touch inside okay you feel in touch inside but you have to think it connection in here or might not by that why I love this too using to see okay we have the reading here for uh, 0.8 right that means we have a good connection in here okay go ahead and start the engine and see what going on okay guys the engine running right now it's uh, here oh yeah sorry I accident touched something here go ahead and uh, oh man community. yes don't go back all the way yep read the poco see a dependent there's still no poco okay and then leave it alone and back to the laptop to see you see that's pico scope the scope is not running yet and I will turn it to running by right here. Hit it. Okay, guys, we have uh, the square signal here. Seems to be perfect. Everything seems uh, working properly. But why? Why, yes? The problem is the high voltage. Okay. Out here, if you want to do like uh, something, wrap the engine, you know, on the center, sometimes we have to wait until the engine is super hot and uh, we have to do something like uh, wrap the engine high RPM, something like that. That means it might, the problem occur. Okay, I will change the time base to 200 is still factor for me I can do five seconds yep I like it run like that and go inside the car wrap the engine for a while and see if we're missing something here if you don't change the time base you don't have time to catch it okay out there anyway you can see Go back right away before it's over. You see, right here. Oh, where am I? Yes, yeah, stop. Okay. I already stopped the waveform on the way. As you can see, all even solid like this. That means we don't have any missing when we wrap it in. Even you can uh, able to zoom a little bit. Yeah, all we have to say okay. Ah, and what's wrong with this? I don't know. When you zoom out like that, you can able to do um, right here. You click, 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 click to move to, to see any missing, and you can do the left arrow and then click, click, click to move the waveform. Yeah, I can hold it. Yeah, as you can see, we don't mix in any. Huh, what's wrong with this? Okay. Let it run again. Yeah, right now running. And do again one more time.
okay guys something seems to be normal to me and go ahead and stop again yep you can see all soilless nothing wrong not nothing wrong right here yep not nothing wrong So, this problem from uh, the engine cold, engine hot, and high RPM, but still nothing. Got. As you can see, where the engine temperature is right now. Okay, guys, like you can see, the engine still running right now. The temperature you can see on the gauge is uh, operating temperature. As you can see on the data, at 204 degrees right now, the engine RPM is 7, almost 900 RPM. But as you can see, the long-term fuel trim, band 1, band 2, seem to be stuck to me at 1953, 1953, and the short-term band 1 is 14%. The band 2, about four percent five percent what's wrong with that let me wrap the engine to see as you can see from the beginning we don't have the link and this and cold as you can see when the engine rpm like at 2200 rpm the long-term fuel trim bank one is still more than 10%, but we still don't have the focal for that. I don't know, it's uh, maybe later or what. But the short-term fuel trim on both bands is okay. Okay, back to idle. It's stuck on 1953. Anyway, uh, let me go back to see if we have any reset read the vein read the vein yep no res computer reset at all yep okay anyway we can able try to disconnect the battery and see how the fuel trim uh, the software respawn on this but let me back to the engine as you can see right now because it, it scope on stop and we, we put it run again yep let it run right now and try to take the harness from this Keep an eye on. Be careful if the engine run, okay? Yep, we still don't have any missing here. Okay, and what's wrong with that? So, let me try to take a the battery and to see the computer. Or not. Okay guys, battery disconnected and uh, always try to be uh, carefully cover the terminal like this by use the battery terminal uh, cover from brand new and cover this to avoid if the cable some you working around and pop back in and not just the only battery cable disconnected I try to connect the uh, negative cable to the positive cable by the jumper wire that's right here that you can see all around and let this alone for about like uh, 15 minutes and put the cable 
back to uh, battery, connect the cable, and start and read the data and see what's going on. Okay, guys, the battery cable back connected, and uh, we don't do anything on the engine bay anymore. Put everything all two away. So after we try to manually reset the computer and see how it works right now the key on and like you can see the engine stop right now and all the i want to see the fuel trim bank one bank two and also the short turn and see how it's reading yep after recess what you can see wait for a while until the software is recognized something and see engine run okay okay this short term it respawn now but see look like it we got the vacuum leak or something maybe but the vacuum leak it doesn't cause any on the cam position sensor is high input Yep, the, the long term fuel trim and not respawn yet. But as you can see right now, the short term fuel trim, yep, back to 4%, less than 5% right now. Okay, let me wrap the engine and see how it respawn on the long term. Okay, you can see earlier on the short term is too much positive and now the engine RPM 3000 RPM is still positive. What is that? Okay guys, wait until the long-term fuel trim respawn and we will end this video and uh, let you guys see with me we should not tell the vehicle, uh, vehicle owner okay try to change the cam position sensor no try okay when you tell the owner something to be positive don't try don't know maybe know anything okay if you tell the vehicle owner okay try to change the sensor and they know that the sensor is not so expensive like run around 40 bucks 50 70 something around that or a hundred dollar I, I don't know but after that if the vehicle is okay you may be okay if the vehicle is back, same problem, they will think negative from you, okay? They will think negative about you. That's why we'd rather tell the owner, okay, let go ahead, ride the vehicle until it die. We can find the problem from there. Think about that, it's not just only the sensor, uh, produce the signal but if the sensor produce the signal is good but inside the computer something is intermittent and not accept the signal is stuck on high voltage the computer will set the high, high input or the software is get jammed the computer will set the four code but out here we try to change the sensor we might be in trouble I rather not do anything with this case as you can see seem like the software problem earlier you can see the short-term field trim band one is is a uh, too high positive like the band two right now but right now the bank one is seem to be stuck at 4.69 and the bank to short term switching but it's too high.
at one be high RPM. The short term fuel can bank one respawn, but still more than 10%. The long term is because we recheck the computer and then likewise say Euro in China. But anyway, I'm thinking that the echo software need to be updated or replace something like that. It's not just only the cam sensor focal and might something else. Later, if the, the software is uh, jammed like this. Right now, I don't see anything wrong with the sensor or anything. Let's check, see, as you can see, 469. Okay, guys. The main thing of this video, we try to find some problem, but it seems to be for me. I don't know what to do for now. Change the sensor, I'd rather not. Don't try, no maybe. And uh, we already checked for the harness shaking, there's still no intermittent problem. When we let the waveform running, we don't catch anything with that. And as said, on the scan tool, we see something not right over here. You see, right now, bank one is uh, 4469. Of course, the long term is way for switching. Okay guys, I don't know what to do with this case anymore. Just only tell the owner, okay, bring it back home and drive it until the vehicle completely won't start and we may go from there. Okay guys, that's it for today. Uh, Temple watching, see you guys next time.